dear parents of AGS middle and high school students, it's going to be okay. Hi, if you don't know me, I'm Hope Anthony, and I'm a senior at All Gray. Many of you are probably stressed because of how we're starting this year. Everything's online, you don't know what's happening, you don't know where to go, and I'm here and I'm just gonna show you um, some places to go and how this online thing is gonna be so that you're ready when school starts on Tuesday. So once your child's Chromebook is open, they're going to have to sign in. And I've already signed in before, so mine looks like this. However, if your child has not signed into their Chromebook yet, then they're going to have to put in their email and their password. Their email is going to be their last name, then their first initial, followed by the last two digits of their graduation year. So mine would be Anthony H. 21 because I graduate this year in 2021 and their password is going to be their lunch number if their lunch number is five digits then they're gonna put a zero before it so if my lunch number was one two three four five then my password would be zero one two three four five and so you're gonna put your password in And then you're going to have a tab open. It will probably be the school website, but I've already logged in, so mine is like this. Um, to get started, most things are going to be on a home page. And I have it bookmarked down here. The website is going to be agslearningresources.weebly.com. And then that comes to here. And it just has the basic home page. Then there's here a district plan. And there's open houses for both middle, for elementary and middle and high school. So middle and high schoolers, you're going to come to the secondary open house. And you have a message from Mr. Zion and all of the teachers. And then underneath a teacher's name is their Google Classroom passwords. So one of so I'm taking band, so I'll find here senior band and then a code for that. Then here I'm going to look up Google Classroom. Your child might have Google Classroom up in their extensions. I'm I think it looks like a green chalkboard, but I don't have mine up there. So I'm going to look up Google Classroom, and it takes me here, and all my classes are right here, but if you're adding your child's classroom, then your class code you're going to put right there, and it's the code that's listed, whatever your class is. So once you have your class on, you're going to open it and then everything, all your work will be listed here. And your teacher is going to have um, like announcements, stuff like that. Or they might have classwork under here, but it could also be in the stream. So in addition to all your child's coursework and information being on Google Classroom, we're using Edmentum or Play-Doh. And so if you go to the school website, ags-schools.org, you're going to see the home page. And then I usually go to Explore, Students, and Edmentum Courseware. And, well, it just logged me out. But if I go to Login, then it'll be the same as your, like your email. It'll be last name, first first initial, grad year, and your password is the same as your password to get logged into your computer. So your lunch number, and if it's five digits, a zero. And then the account will be AGSD. And then you log in, 
and your classes will be on here. And mine is different because I've taken previous um, online classes. But so I have my main ones here. So I haven't actually clicked in here. So if I click into physics, then I select new activity and everything is going to be on here. And you're not going to have everything at the same time. Your teacher is going to, you know, on their stream, they'll list what activities you have to do and it'll be at a, they'll have a date to finish it by. So your teacher might do like, watch your, click, you know, go through your Play-Doh student orientation by this date and, or, or here if I click into unit one, they'll be like, complete your graphs and relationships by this date. So everything will be there and your kid will be doing it on your own, but they will have help from the teacher and your teacher will have dates listed like on the stream and in their classwork. And so those are your main tools that you're going to be using. I hope this video was helpful and that you're able to use it and you know how to get around a little more now and that your child knows what they're doing. And it will be difficult at first, but it's e it's pretty easy to get used to. Um, and I know it's not the same as in-class learning. I'm kind of disappointed because it's my senior year, but we're all in this together. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any more questions, please comment or send me a text.